This is the home where Manuela Whithume was raped and murdered back in 1981. There are four known Orange County victims of this elusive serial killer, and relatives of some of those people were in Sacramento today for the big announcement. It is time for the victims to begin to heal. So long overdue. Newport Beach's Bruce Harrington is one of those who has been grieving for 38 years. His brother Keith and sister in law Patrice were among the last people murdered by the Golden State serial killer. The Dana Point couple were tied up and beaten in their home. Since 1980, law enforcement and the family haven't given up on finding the culprit. You know, the other thing about the crime scene is that there was. Nothing was amiss. Yeah. There was no indication of forced entry. There was no indication of anything missing in the home. We interviewed the surviving Harrington brothers at the grave site almost 20 years ago as they continued their search for their loved one's elusive killer. About that time, a newly formed cold case unit in Orange County took never before tested DNA samples from similar crime scenes where victims were raped and murdered. The detectives made a startling discovery. Two other homicides in Irvine and killings on the Central Coast were linked, but no one knew who was responsible. Well, everybody's a little scared, you know, because it was, uh, you know, pretty bad. Brian Bailey still lives a few houses from where Manuela Withume was found dead on Columbus and Irvine. Five years after that, another Irvine woman, 18 year old Janelle Cruz, was raped and murdered. Officials say she was the final victim of the Golden State serial killer whose crime spree spanned a decade and went up and down the state. For the 51 ladies who were brutally raped in this crime scene, sleep better tonight. He isn't coming through the window. He's now in jail and he's history. Bruce Harrington has fought hard through the years and continues to fight for laws which expand California's DNA database. Ironically, today is National DNA Day.